Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and good morning to you, glorious spilling way that is literally the only spot left on this creek that's over two feet deep. How the hell are you today? My name is Josh. You know me pretty well. It's been a little while, but not very long, and uh, yeah, I always enjoy coming down here because it is one of the deeper spots, and there's also some pretty damn big fish that I can usually maybe potentially catch down here. So let's give it a shot. Stuff and things. Bye bye. Alrighty, boys and girls, I haven't fished for an entire week. Last time I fished was Friday, last Friday, and now it's Friday, and I'm starting to get a little twitchy. There were some things that happened. Uh, we thought Boo was gonna have to get surgery. They were talking cancerous things. They were just talking about it. It wasn't like a for sure thing, but yeah, ended up, she didn't have to get surgery. It wasn't cancerous, but it was kind of scary there for a little bit. The uh, seven-year-old got uh, lice at school. That was fun. She's already scared of bugs, let alone a bunch of them crawling on her head. And then right after that, I got sick. <clears throat> Still a little sick, but uh, yeah, I'm excited to be back fishing. Had to stay close to home. You, you, you guys get the point by, by now, I'd imagine. Baby's almost three months, staying close to home. Don't feel good. Best spot close to home probably is right here sometimes. So we're gonna give it a shot. We have light bait, crawlers. I have some new swim baits to try. And um, well, new for here. I've used them before, but I've never tried them here. And we're just gonna see if we can't uh, catch something big. Going for flatheads, but we'll take anything, as usual, stuff and things, but pow. I'm not sure what I'm sick with, but it actually isn't that bad. Just like a head cold or something, cold, cold. Can hardly breathe, my, my head feels like it's a thousand pounds. You guys are dirty. And um, yeah, I brought some Kleenex to blow my schnoz. Might have to do some snot rocket in, but we'll survive. We got uh, three catfish poles that are going to be going out. And uh, yeah, hopefully just one of them can get hit in the next while. I don't have to pick the kid up from school or nothing, just... Lou's got the fort handled at home. And I just hope we can get some bites. It's, uh, I mean, flatheads in general are kind of off or on, but I've either got zero flathead bites here or I've got four flathead bites in an hour here. There's not really been an in-between. I read an article one time, I've probably said it before, but I read an article one time that uh, flatheads only move for about 30 minutes out of the day. So you just have to hope that uh, you're fishing in the right spot during that time. I'm not sure how true it is, but they certainly move a lot less than most fish. And you can like in certain spots, like hit them in the head, like I did the other day when I missed more flatheads than I caught. But uh, yeah, you can find their homes and you can catch them, but when they're moving, it's a little bit easier. Most of the time, since they're catfish, you know, they probably move at night. But I don't really fish at night, so we just kind of got to make do with what we got. And even though this spot's still decently deep, it's a lot lower than it normally is. There's some rocks up in here. It was high at one point, though. I'm not sure when, when that happened, considering we ain't got a damn raindrop in years. But it looks like the water was high at one point. There's a bobber. Most of it's just uh, trash that got washed down, but yeah. Jig head crawler, Carolina rig eventually. Same drill as always. Hopefully the live bait gets hit, and if it doesn't, hopefully we can just get bit in general, you know, and stuff. That's big. And that kind of hit it like a flathead, I'm not gonna lie. Aw, oh, big drum bud. We'll take it though, we'll take it. I thought it was a flathead for a second. <laughs> that thing absolutely thumped the bejesus out of it. And why is he fighting like he's dead? That's not a bad start, boys and girls. That's a big ass drum bud. Even though he's old and lazy, he's a big one. For me anyway. I thought it was a flathead by how slow it was moving. And it was just, I pulled it up over a rock and it was like, donk. 
donk. I'm talking about geriatric drum bud right here. Old timer. Absolutely ancient, but wise beyond his years. Does that look like a flathead tried to grab him right there? That kind of looks like a flathead grabbed his ass. And it's on the other side too. I think a flathead tried to grab this dude's ass at one point in his old ass crusty life, but he got away. He's surviving, he's long. Skinny boy, and that was the first cast down here. We couldn't get a bite up there by the uh, rapids, but. Take care of yourself, my friend. Take care of yourself. Interesting. I fish a lot of uh, spots a lot of times and I pretty much like almost know what to expect out of them. But the thing I like about creeks and just moving water fishing is that you can think you know, but then you don't actually know. Water levels change. Fish move in and out of spots. Bunch of different species. I mean, fish move around in ponds too, don't get me wrong, but not quite like they do at uh, spots on creeks. And I have caught some pretty decent drum fish here. Actually, a couple big ones when I brought crawfish down here. Been looking for crawfish. The damn bait store doesn't, doesn't seem to ever have crawfish anymore for some reason. See, that was expect, that's what I was expecting for a bite right there. Hashtag Nebraska. Yeah, I've been trying to get some crawfish to do a uh, live crawfish fishing challenge. I can't find any crawfish, so. I have not been able to do that. Maybe I'll have to get some uh, shrimp here coming up or something like that. Yeah, that's decent. That's decent. Flathead? <laughs> you guys won't believe it. <laughs> oh, poor bud. Not again. <laughs> Can't make this shit up, boys and girls. Can't make this shit up. One of the bigger drum I've caught all year. And I caught him twice in about 10 minutes. I'm sorry, friend. I'm sorry. Halfway tempted to just go up there and get a sunny and just shove it down his throat. But I'm not even sure that would help his ass. <clears throat> you guys want to see him again? <laughs> what the hell? Same mark. Same fish. Felt the big thump again right next to the bridge. We're getting some thumps. We are getting some thumps that could arguably be flathead thumps. They just turn out to be something else. Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't mind catching a bunch of drum fish that size, but the same decrepit old one over and over again, I mean, I could do without that. Turtles I could do without. Tiny channels I could do without, but. But that being said, catching something's better than catching nothing, right? Right. We'll keep trying and stuff. Alrighty boys and girls, not gonna lie to you, the dreams of catching a flathead today have almost completely been crushed. But I walked down this way and I uh, saw some fish and I have this little jerk bait I want to try out. And I think the fish that I see might potentially eat this. I could have thrown the crawler at him but yeah this seems a little bit more fun. Little Euro tackle mini jerk. Little mini jerk off. Oh, still one of them there. Still one of them there. Can you guys guess what the fish are that I see if I'm throwing a jerk bait? Can you guess? Can you guess? One had it, I think. Or I hooked a rock, I'm not sure. They're garfish, but there's a couple big ones too, so. There it is. There it is. There it is. That was absolutely badass. Whatever that is is fucking giant. And I've been trying to sight fish it for a long time. And it's way bigger than I thought it was. And it's clear on the other side of the damn creek. Am I recording? My camera was down. 
on the damn jerk bait. I don't even think it's a gar. But it did eat it. <laughs> on the jerk bait. <laughs> oh. Oh. He slammed it. Whatever he is, he slammed it. Did you guys see him explode out there? Oh my god, what is that? Whatever it is, it's huge. <laughs> I think it's a grass carp. And it ate it. I thought it was a long-nosed gar over there forever, but... Like, from far away, it didn't look that big. It looked kind of skinny and weird. Oh, shit. <laughs> Must have thought it was like a piece of blue and chartreuse cotton or something, boys. <laughs> and girls. Look at that, dude. He's big. I did the automatic automatic fish rod holder setter thing challenge. And I caught a couple pretty big grass carps. I don't know. I don't know if this guy's my biggest grass carp ever, but he definitely ain't the smallest. I can tell you that for damn sure. Definitely ain't the smallest. I don't want him to come unhooked because I want to show you guys where he's hooked. Oh, cool. We got him in the swimming pool. Swimming pool grass carp. He doesn't like his swimming pool. <laughs> Man, kids, kids and carp these days aren't very appreciative, are they? I got you this nice ass swimming pool, bud. And you're mad about it, eh? I've always liked grass carp. I've only caught like 10 of them in my life. And, um, yeah. They are just cooler than regular carp. The only type of carp that, to me, that is cooler than a grass carp is a buffalo carp. I really don't catch those boogers. Let's see if we can get some momentum on this boy and get him beached. Yeah, good enough. There he is, boys and girls. There he is. In the mouth. I don't see if I can pick him up without getting my ass kicked. Easier said than done most of the time, but he looks pretty tired. Come here, friend! No! <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can catch him again. Even though this is kind of fish harassment. I worked all day for you! No! I can't believe I actually... Ah! Yo, yo. Oh god. These things are jerks, man. Jerks. Alrighty, boys and girls. I don't know how big he is, but he's definitely one of the bigger carp I've ever caught, and that's saying something. But he's 30 inches, 10 pounds. Let's finally get him back and move on with our day. There you go, torpedo tarpon, bud. Get back in your little swimming pool. All right, boys and girls, like I said, I should have gave up a long time ago, but I hadn't fished for a while and I wanted to keep going. All hope was lost. Our flathead poles are still out, but I don't even care at this point because they haven't done shit and I doubt, doubt they're doing shit right now. So I need to go get some food. I still don't really feel that good. That carp helped me feel a little bit better. Me personally, when I'm sick, I think spending time outdoors in the long run makes you feel better than just sitting on your ass at home so yeah i don't regret it wasn't the greatest same drum fish twice old gnarly looking booger and a big old grass carp on a jerk bait all right thanks for watching see you later and stuff things have oh, goodbye uh hopefully you guys stayed tuned because this thing about just stole my damn pole and I was on my on the phone with my dad, and for some reason, the clicker stopped working. And this is big. It's big. It's a big flat, boys and girls. Big flat. Pole in line. Huge. 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 And he's going in stuff. Big dog. Big dog, boys and girls big dog big dog 
my pole about went in the water. I don't know why my bail closed, but it did. And we got a giant, giant flathead. Giant, boys and girls. Oh, hopefully you guys st stayed watching. Okay, I'm just gonna shut up. I gotta get this thing in. I've been here a long time for this dude. He's huge though. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's a giant. That's a giant. Oh my god. That thing is huge. That thing is huge. He about stole my pole. And he's huge. Oh. All day, boys and girls. All day. All day. All day. Oh, yes. Hell yes. Hell yes. That thing was kicking my ass. Oh no, I just stepped on the stash stick. Holy f***. My god. My god. Do you guys see that whale? Do you guys see that whale? It about stole my pole. I don't know why line wasn't coming out. It like locked up. Oh, Lee. Shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know how big it is. And you know, my dumb ass doesn't have a scale, but that's easy 30 plus. And he fought hard. He also wasn't coming off unless he broke off. Oh, I don't even know if I'm gonna leave it in at this point. I'm not sure how, most of the time I know how I'm gonna structure videos, but I just caught a big ass grass carp on a jerk bait. Did you guys see that? I might not even leave it in, but I definitely ain't feeling sick now, boys and girls. I definitely ain't, oh God, feeling sick now. All right, I'm just gonna, what am I gonna do with him? I need to get my big camera on this dude. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. I've heard it's better for them if you lay them on their back because they're organs and it also calms them down. Okay, I do have a scale, but it's not gonna clamp on him. I also have a measuring tape. Pops, if you're watching this, you're good luck, man. I was literally just on the phone with my dad and my pole almost got drug in. I guess we'll just measure him now and then we'll get big camera, but he's a big dog. 48, we'll say 47 incher, maybe 47 and a half. Big dog, look how wide his head is. I don't know if that's my biggest fly head this year, but it's close. It is close. Let's try to get him rinsed off a little bit. Oh. Get some water flowing through him. If he bites me and breaks away, oh well. Oh. I, was, I was not expecting that. Hopefully you guys kept watching. That was absolutely insane. I was hoping to get a small flathead today, boys and girls. Wasn't expecting this, though. <laughs> Look at that thing! <laughs> that is big dog. I'm not sure if it's bigger than the one I caught on the crankbait earlier this year, but it's definitely comparable. Man, I'd like to weigh this one, but it doesn't bug me that much, you know? Who cares? The fight was fun. He's big, and we're gonna get his ass back. <sighs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yes. All right, friend. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, my God. 
How much does a 48 inch or weigh? Or a 47 or a 40, who gives a shit? That was crazy. That was crazy. I don't feel sick anymore, boys and girls. I don't feel sick anymore. I'm not sure what I left in. Same drum fish twice. Old crusty bastard, I feel bad for him. And uh, yeah, tiny channels, another little drum, turtle, big grass carp, couple gar, monster flathead, monster flathead. All right, well, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Love y'all, take care of yourself. See you soon, stuff things with pal, goodbye.